George Klyovkov, after this press conference is done, tells The Athletic that they will announce whether or not they're going to expand by the end of the week. So apparently, expansion for the Pac-12 is still an option. He talked to Max Olsen, and Max Olsen told him, he said that, uh, excuse me, Max said, I would be a little surprised if he preaches the importance of stabilizing college athletics and then raids the Big 12 a few days later. That's what Max Olsen said. <laughs> It would, it would be the most college football move in the world, though. Oh, Klyovkov is the one of these three that you should be worried about. This guy was a Vegas business dude. Oh, he yes. was not a college commissioner. And these other two dudes that are so green, ooh, oh, yeah. sleep with one eye open, baby. You'll wake up with oh, a yeah. horse head in your bed. Klyovkov said, I would say it's been less than five weeks since the news of Texas and Oklahoma leaked. It has caused a lot of vibration across the college sports community. I think the best thing that we can do to support the Big 12 is to come to decisions together that dampen that vibration as quickly as possible. Of course, the longer we waited until we announced this alliance, the more details we would have had and the more specific the scheduling. You balance that against wanting to announce it so that we can start to slow down the vibrations, and I think getting this accomplished in five weeks, and at least for us, being able to announce a final decision on our expansion within that kind of same five-week time frame is our effort to try and stabilize what I think Kevin and Jim and I all saw as something that was not good for college athletics. I don't even know what he's saying there. I like I, none. It, we're we're about we're about to take one of those fours home, and we don't want y'all to laugh at us. It's it, so so we he don't does want that. our friends. We don't want our friends to make fun of us. So he he does that, and at the same time that all of this is going on, Dave Wanstead is on the radio, six seventy the score in Chicago, and that it was this morning. He said that he heard the following Big 12 news at the Fox meetings last week in Phoenix. Dave Wanstead, of course, part of the Fox broadcasts. We all get that. But Fox has their television meetings in Phoenix every year. I I think it swaps. I think it switches every year. But either way, they have these big meetings where they talk about and they plan the season. They plan all this stuff and da-da-da. And he was told Oklahoma State and Kansas State are going to the Pac-12 West Virginia is going to the ACC, and Kansas and Iowa State are both going to the Big Ten. Notice that all of those are members of this alliance. Do you think that there is any... What's the term I'm looking for? It's funny to me that they announced this alliance today. People ask about the Big 12... They talk so well about the Big 12 and how important the Big 12 is and those schools and everything, what they mean to college athletics. And while all this is going on, Dave Wanstead's like, yeah, every one of them conferences is picking somebody off off the Big 12. That's right. <laughs> That's right. They're all going to take a four home. And we don't want and they and they want the rest of the country to to take them serious after that. I Iowa State to the Big Ten makes a lot of sense to me. Kansas oh, no. As far as basketball goes, all of the moves make sense. By the yeah. way, I, I don't disagree with these conferences doing this. I I actually don't disagree with it at all. No, I don't either. But, but to play, come out and talk about stabilizing college athletics and then start raiding uh, what's left of the Big Twelve right after, I I do find it a bit comical. <laughs> yeah, Oklahoma State and Kansas State to the Pac twelve. That that could be interesting. We could we could see some fun games there. So the two that got left out were Baylor and TCU, right? Uh, Baylor, TCU, and we're missing somebody. Texas Tech. Texas Tech. So those three are going to end up in the American, guaranteed. That because they're not, gonna, they're not going to stay by themselves, and why would the American not? Well, I mean, that, would boost, the, that would boost the American to 14 teams. If, the, if like, the American was smart, they would they'd find a couple of bastards to kick out, and they would go get the best of the Sun Belt also, and BYU. Go, but, go get App State. Go get yep. Louisiana and Louisiana Coastal. So you find you find and then B, if you can get BYU, BYU. You, get four, you get four four dummies to say sorry, guys. You got to go. <laughs> That'd be smart. That would be, be smart. smart. That'd be smart because at that so, point, then you you're back to a power five. Um, yeah. Now now you really I think I think that conference would be awesome. By the way, I think yeah. that conference would have less weaklings than any other conference if you did that. Yes, I I tend to agree. I tend yeah. to agree. This was uh, this was comical that all of this was going on. This alliance talk, this talk of stable, like-minded individuals, uh, the importance of college athletics, da 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 da, and and Dave Wanstead is dropping how, knowledge. Like, how many 
how many people can make so much money and be so dumb, Gary? It's, how is it that I can't make that much money? I'm a, I'm not I'm a moron. I'm dumb. I'm not I'm not saying I'm not. I'm smarter than all of these people. <laughs> all of them. Maybe put a couple of them in the room combined and I got that IQ. Yeah, yeah. Probably. These are idiots. Now, that's, that's I, I, there's no like. doubt they could quote Shakespeare and and quote me legal references out the yin yang that I can't. There's no doubt. Opening books, they're going to be smarter than me. Running businesses, running conferences, I, I assure you, I, I can show you P and Ls of how I've done in 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 my little world and what they've done, what I've built, and what they've built off of what I had to start with and what they had to start with. And I assure you that I can I can run circles around all of them. Well, all of them. I will I will give you Kevin Warren and Jim Phillips. I don't know about Kleofkov, man. But yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. I'm, you're I'm, right. No, but he I'm I'll tell you on this, him. He's he's the he's the he's the one shark in the pool, baby. Oh yeah. Like he's that's the, the one, one shark swimming in this pool. Yes. And and for the other two to just trust him blindly would would not be wise. Just uh, we, telling you right now. I still can't get over we don't need a signed contract. Like what? we don't need one. We've got his word that he won't stab us in the back. Like what are we talking about? In a about? couple of years, o- Ohio State's gonna be in the back twelve. Probably that <laughs> That would be so ridiculous. Oh, my God. God. It's going to yeah, be spectacular. The, the ACC, so people, of course, will ask, why would the ACC only take West Virginia? Well, they don't want to lose that connection with Notre Dame. Like That's it, right. They, because, they, be, because they are hanging on, hanging on to lifeblood that one day they'll get Notre Dame, and that will be bigger than Texas or Oklahoma. Yes. Yes. And the way They're that this holding sets up, on with all they have. This sets up with the ACC having 15 teams, but if you add Notre Dame, that's a 16th because Notre Dame yep. has a, a, a contract. A an agreement. Actual, uh, they, they have a, an actual signed contract through 2036 where Notre Dame has to play five ACC teams every year. Yes. A signed deal. So that thing is done. So it, the ACC practically 16 teams. The Big Ten, you take Kansas and Iowa State, that moves you to 16 teams. The Pac-12, still sitting there with Oklahoma 14. State and Kansas State, you got 14. Do you maybe go after a BYU? Do you maybe try and figure out something else? I, right? I'm going to tell you, I think all three of these schools, there's a reason they didn't take any of the private schools. I think they I think they want to stay, which, which A, both the ACC and the Big Ten already have private schools. But, but Pac-12 has made it clear that they they would like to remain secular. That that makes sense. So maybe BYU, maybe BYU up, is worse than all the rest of it. When I say to deal with scheduling wise, oh, yes. and and the religion that they put forward is far more strict. The other ones operate at no different than public schools. No different than public schools. Yeah, that that tends to make sense because USC is a private school. USC is a private institution, but it's a secular private institution. It's not married to a church. Yeah, it's it's not Baylor. It's not TCU. Yeah, it's not Bay- no. Baylor. It's not TCU. It's not Wake Forest. It's not not Northwestern. It's you know. Yeah, that's that's the way it goes. Well, I mean, Northwestern is secular as well. Like that's not a. I thought Northwestern was Catholic. Don't believe so. Don't believe so. I I think uh, we we have people that we know that should be able to answer this for us. How did know, we not know that? We'll 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 ask them about. That. Are you are you sending it to to our group chat now? Yeah, you All want right. to, you want to talk for a minute? Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and keep talking. This this would be incredibly comical to me if this were to happen. But the idea of four 16 team leagues is still there, and the AAC could be another one that would move to 16 teams. I I don't see this as out of the realm of possibility yet. I don't believe that we are going to have stability just yet. Do I think that they're going to announce who they're taking? By the end of this week, no. I think that the Pac-12 is going to announce that they are going to look at expanding, that they are planning to expand, and then they'll draw this thing out for a little while and announce something at the end of the season because announcing right before this season, I think, might be in not everybody's best interest. So we'll see what happens with it, obviously, but uh, but that's the way it goes. So you get, uh, you get any answers back? No, no, that's all right, though. We'll, it's all we'll, we'll get one and we'll let it We'll... We'll rehash it on the show on on Friday, so (laughs) it'll be all good. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, 
at Chris B. Giannini at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.